Yo, what's going on YouTube? R10 here, coming to you guys with another live com. I know it's been a while since I've posted my first live com. This is going to be the second one. And unfortunately, the final one, guys, the reason for this is because ultimately I've just decided it makes more sense to just start streaming on Twitch and then I can just upload the highlights from my Twitch streams to YouTube for anyone who can't turn into the live stream. So if you guys want to check me out on Twitch, make sure you go subscribe, hit the notification button so you guys know when I go live. So basically you can get everything that you want out of these live com videos just directly on Twitch. My name on Twitch is XR10 with an underscore at the end of it. So if you guys want to check that out, like I said, guys, it's going to be the last live time I posted the channel. So if you're looking for PVP tips or live walkthroughs, just make sure you check me out on Twitch. Also, I do have some 29 bracket gameplay coming up. I do have a 29 bracket character. Here it is. So you guys can be on the lookout for this. I will be posting some 29 bracket gameplay to the channel soon. So anyways, without further ado, we're going to jump right into this live com, guys. I hope you enjoy. I don't move around. No, so, no, nah, nah, I ain't saying that you cheating. But I'm saying, how did you strafe like that? Um, by double tapping shift. On a keyboard? Yeah, on a keyboard. What are you guys playing with controller? No, nah, no, nah, I'm on a keyboard. Okay. And when I try to do it, I don't strafe like that, man. It doesn't even do half of that shit. All right, so. Uh, arrow, uh, arrow let, plus let me, double tap shift. Let, no, no, not arrow. I move with WASD, I don't use the arrow keys. Look, uh, we'll do a live shift. That's what I use, the WSD. Look, uh, we'll do a live and then, uh, session right now, dude, just for you guys. All right, so I gotta get in combat first. So I'm gonna shoot him once. Now, so when you want, when you go to strafe, it's just sprint canceling. So you're just double tapping shift, and then you move your mouse and your arrow key in a certain direction. So the basics of it looks like this. So that's, slowed down like when you guys aren't shooting me it's like i'm pressing w and a and double tapping shift so that i can cancel my sprint and go diagonal from left to right and then you just keep repeating that in alternate direction so instead of w a it's w d to go to the uh w a is to go to the left w d is to go to the right and then you just do it faster and then during combat like if you guys try to shoot me go ahead try to shoot me now Alright, yeah, that's yeah. It. That's literally it. We don't know nothing about that, man. Thanks for it. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Fighting rolling. Roll the fucking. I mean, there's not really much to say there. Those kids got destroyed. All pretty easy, to be honest. Now it'd be toxic until a flame grenade at the door. I don't think anyone's gonna come out in time to get hit by that fire. I mean, except the kid who wasn't rogue that I just killed. He may come out in time, but nah, it's debated. Throw another one. Yeah, so there you go. See, that's what you want to do sometimes if you're checkpoint camping, which is toxic, by the way. So I don't recommend doing it. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. Three kill. That's like the checkpoint campers go to grenade the flame nade. They come out on fire, can't even shoot his gun back. I'm teaching you guys the wrong stuff. But, I mean, you gotta learn the dirty side of the game, too, because a lot of people play with so much cheese, like turrets and stuff. So, I mean, the least you guys can do is throw a flame nade. This time I'll give him a fighting chance when he comes out on my own throwing grenades or anything. That's just completely toxic. Where are the other two kids, by the way? Right, let's see if he's any good. Straight around a little bit, jump over cover. I'm gonna push him. You gotta be the aggressor in these fights. Oh, no, he's not gonna get back turn no damage, by the way. Get predatory and sustained off of that. I'm gonna drop a box behind this truck so they can't easily shoot it. And then he comes in the base tank like an idiot. He can't aim, by the way. I'm gonna pop my box to get healed. Then predatory sustained again from the M4. I'm gonna push his friend. I have to pop the booster. I got stacked. Okay, this is easy 
melt, try to break the again. This kid has no idea what he's doing. Uh, yeah guys, so that's pretty much it. You, know, you just gotta use your skills. You gotta play smart. Like, um, you wanna pay attention to your health a lot during fights. Because you can get melted if you're not paying attention. Like if you're so like uh, tunnel visioning on the person you're shooting. It can get pretty ugly really fast. They're probably all gonna come out together now. Um, that's normally what kids do in this sort of situation. When you just have one person completely overpowering you, you just group up and then you all try to kill them. You mad, bro? Toxic in the chat. Unless these kids are all... Do they give up? Yikes. No, they didn't give up. They came back out. They're throwing a box now. They're getting smart. Pushing two ways, three ways actually, you don't have to so I can't shoot all of them like that, so I'm just gonna funnel them in this little doorway. There's four actually. You gotta, you just gotta funnel. I can isolate them way easier like this. You don't try and push up now because I think they have numbers, but numbers doesn't mean shit when you're getting funneled. Pop a canned food right now, take less damage, I'm gonna throw a nade, get crit save off my mech hit. And then I try to focus one out. I'm gonna start playing around cover in the tent. Holy shit, I'm not out. I just picked up a guy. I'm choking shots. I'm gonna need it again. Get crit save off my med kit. And I didn't get it because I fucking can't do it. Hold on, I gotta focus one down. One has to die. Alright, I need predatory sustain. Oh, wow, I missed the melee, dude. I'm dead now. Seeing a fucking faggot. Uh, and there we go with the toxicity. Um, I died right there because I melee the wrong person first, which is annoying, but whatever. I'll just come back out and fight these kids again. They're not really good players, so... It's good. This is like the perfect time to explain to you guys how to PvP against multiple players. That's good though, we need some adversity, right, in these live comms. You can't just shit stomp everybody you fight. And it's like everyone makes mistakes, right? I'm not a perfect player, so like if I was smart, I would have just shot him with the DM4, right? Shot the kid that I downed. But I wanted to go in for a melee, and I ended up meleeing the wrong person. So you know that can happen sometimes. So most cases, you should shoot the player instead of meleeing. But I mean, we're, we're not all perfect, you know. And now they're going rogue on me. He's an idiot. They wasted the green on me before, so I know they don't. Want what? They have another one? And I'm shocked. And they have Fred. Nice. I gotta run this to play this smart if I can make it. Probably not. Okay, I'm down to Another one dead. They don't have green this time. Okay, see, it's all about isolating, dude. These kids are bad. They're just playing into my strategy. Like, never do this. Okay, so even if it's just one person and you have numbers, unless you know the kid is absolutely dog shit, never push him like this. They're giving me stacks, I got canned food. Once this fire goes away, I'm pushing up and I'm gonna drop my box and I'm just gonna melt one of them. There we go, I'm gonna pop my box now. Yeah, throw that need. Terrible aim. Predatory sustained by shooting him this time. Play smarter. Gotta learn from your mistakes. Straight around, make a miss. And that's an easy one before. Thanks for being toxic earlier, by the way. Now I don't feel bad about calling you a shitter. 